Hello everyone, welcome to Bieber Academy Android Hacking Series. I'm super excited to meet you all with another interesting chapter. In this chapter, we are going to track an Android phone. So I'm just going to show how to track the Android phones. Uh, and if you already didn't watch my previous chapters, I would request to go and please watch the chapters. Disclaimer, this video is purely for education and information purpose. I don't encourage any malicious or harmful activities. I'm not responsible for any misuse or damage resulting from the information shared in this video. You are solely responsible for your opinion, action and use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Please note that unauthorization hacking or accessing other system or network is strictly prohibited and illegal. Even this video demonstrated ethical hacking practice in my lab environment. So first of all, we will be going to see what we are going to do in this uh, video. So first the, the tool, what I'm going to use is in this one is. So let's go and quickly see what we are going to see it learn here in this video. So first of all, we are going to create a one a link so that uh, it's something like uh, we are going to use a tool called Seeker, which is available in the GitHub. I'll be giving the link in the description. You don't need to worry. So using the Seeker tool, uh, we just going to create. Uh, so basically there it comes with a lot of options like WhatsApp group, Google Drive, uh, like custom URL, whatever you can you do. The options are like uh, scalability options are higher. So you can do whatever you wanted. In this example, I'm just going to see, uh, I'm just going to create a Telegram a link kind of thing. And uh, I'm just going to execute this on the victim and once this link is executed so basically this will be capturing all the uh, location geolocation with the maps and everything so this is this is how you can track the android devices what location where it is there longitude latitude what kind of model it is everything you can basically you can track over there okay one more thing is uh, this example i just going to execute on my parrot os this one uh, so it's a kind of a alternative to cali version so you can still you can execute on cali or you can execute on any other linux distros without any issues over there and i'm going to use a ng rock basically i go this is so kids we like port forwarding technique so that this link can be accessible over the internet and the victim will be in the different uh, network so to simulate in the actual real environment i'm just going to do a ng rock uh, as you see in the previous videos as well so this is what we are going to try in this video so without further delay let's get into the video <laughs> So this is the link, uh, uh, this is the tool, I'm just talking about it. So this is a seeker tool which is available. So this is, you can, I'll, as I said earlier, you can find this link uh, in the description. You just need to co clone this tool. So I have uh, already cloned this tool. If you see that I'm inside this one. So we have to do two things. Is first of all, we have to give a full permissions to run the script ch mode plus execute seeker phy and sudo ch mode plus executable install that one and uh, first then we will try to install this package so that it will what we do is basically this will try to check if any dependencies packages are needed or not so that without any issue we can execute this one so let me give an enter so this is basically see this is script is basically developed on python and python 3s and everything is there so it seems like i i have all the packages installed in very transition so what i'll do is uh, seems like so seems like all the packages are installed uh, now what i'll do is let me clear it and let me go and describe the script so sudo python 3 uh, as i said earlier this is script is created on python let me run it so you see that as i said earlier this is gives the options like uh, near you google drive whatsapp whatsapp redirect telegram zoom google recaps custom links also you can create it over there so for this just demonstration to make it very simple i'm just going to create a zoom link so let me give a five and uh, see so this is going to uh, start the php servers related to that and it will be in some time to be ready so if you see that the uh, uh, the connection is ready and it is waiting for the client to connect over there so in this case what i'll do is let me start ngrock because i want to access this link to be over the internet so to do that simple ngrock and uh, it is a http site so i have to run http 8080 and enter it uh, let's wait for this version yes so if you see that this is the it is ready now what i'll do let me copy this link 
So I have a using the tiny URL, uh, the complete ngrock URL, I made it as a shortened URL. So it's easy for, or you can easily circle it. Even uh, the real IPs or real information, ngrock will not be available. So it's something like I'm just trying to mask it. That's uh, usually hackers always do it with them. So I also replicating the same kind of. Now what I'll do is let me go and quickly try to execute this uh, link in the my device, Android device. So what I'll do is let me go to my Android, open a Chrome browser and let me start typing the URL. So the URL is uh, HTTP tiny URL. So that is why I made it very shorter. So it's easy for me to type it. And even it is also convincing. So let me enter it. If you see that it is, uh, let me let me make it the side. So see that this is actually uh, connection is. Let me uh, let me minimize everything. So see, see that it is connection is actually happening, and you can see that it is asking Zoom link. Uh, page exactly happened over there right so it's look like the, so whoever if suppose you are in a meeting so what you'll do is launch the meeting so and it is asking for a location i'll just hello the location and uh, so probably this will not happen and end of the day i'll be getting the location details over there so let me again one more time launch it so in the end if you see that it is some just throwing a some uh, false information that uh, we will let you know a uh, kind of thing once the meeting started so people think that means you can again you can ngrock you can mask it uh, there are a lot of ways you can mask it so it looks like you can uh, the hackers basically they will make it as a legitimate and those ways so okay let me click okay so i what i'll think is okay meeting is not just started let me wait on it but a uh, let me go to so in the terminal if you see that it is again ngrock is getting receiving the connection and it is forwarded and if you see that i am getting a complete one so it says that android 10 version and what is score versions and uh, all details it's giving i'm just trying to update and even i'm getting the public ip address this is also how hackers also used to get a public ip address once i have the public ip address probably i can search or scan for the uh, end map and i see whether there is any vulnerabilities and those things also i can do it over there so this is the one thing and if you see that it is the highlight is here it is giving as a google map link so let me copy this link uh, and try to copy this link address and just go to the firefox and drop it so this is going to give me the exact location of uh, where this device is comes over there so now what i'll do is let me accept it so if you see that it's simple right so i got the location where this device is having on so this is how you can track the devices by circulating the links and when the victim click the link and obviously you will get the locations about the devices. This is how you can track the devices, where the devices are there. But for this one, you need to send a, keep sending a conven continuous uh, links and a convincing manner, uh, or something like you want to see one time kind of something you want to verify it, you can do it. And because it's not, it's not something like keep running on it. You cannot do a live tracking kind of things, but still you can you know one shot you one time you can see it over there where the device is, uh, is located and probably you can use a multiple techniques to social engineering techniques and uh, maybe you can make again again make the victim to click it uh, so there is this is the one so thank you all for joining me today in this exciting session i hope you found the content informative if you enjoyed this video please consider give like to this video and also share your feedback in the comment below your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel ensure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay update on upcoming hacking series chapters videos also feel free to share this series and videos with other who might find it interesting if you have any questions or need further clarification about anything shown in this video don't hesitate to reach out to me via discord lastly a big thank you to all my subscriber your encouragement keeps me motivated to create more valuable content for you stay safe stay curious see you soon with another interesting video bye for now take care